Today's social media segment is brought to you by Parabon General Health Systems. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Buick, the craft of modern luxury. St. Martin and Bork, know your rights. South Louisiana Bank, it's better when we bank together. Weights and Downer, attorneys at law. Terrebonne Ford, built Ford Tough. Alford and Associates, for all of your insurance needs. CIS, Cardiovascular Institute of the South, the highest quality cardiovascular care available. Barca Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality. All right, welcome back. We have some election news here out of the area, and I know a lot of people were involved with the Haven and other events that were going on, plenty of events, but they had an election. So a lot of people went to their voting booths, and they cast their votes uh, in this statewide presidential closed primary. And let's take a look at that first, if we can. We'll bring up the Nominees for the Democratic Party, as you can tell, uh, the incumbent President Joe Biden received 86 percent of the votes. He had 143,371. The total amount of votes uh, in that election was 166,599, and the unofficial voter turnout was 14.6. Let's move to the statewide presidential closed primary in the Republican Party. And as you can see, former President Donald J. Trump received 90 percent of the vote. The total was 192,131, 19 percent turnout. So that turned out a little higher on the Republican side than on the Democratic side. On the multi-parish party races. You can tell that Howard Caste uh, defeated another Democrat, Ralphon Triggs, uh, by the amount of 335 votes to 227. 562 votes were cast in that election. Caste coming away with 60 percent of the vote with an unofficial turnout of 7.1. In the multi-parish party races for the Republican State Central Committee, you can tell in District 20B, with all 18 precincts in, Lenora Whitney, a Republican, who is, by the way, has been involved with the state, I mean, the National Committee for the Republican Party for 12 years, uh, she defeated Jason Bajron, by a total of 63% to 37%, 422 votes to 244 votes with an unofficial turnout of 14.9 votes. If we go to District 20D, you can see that Blaise LeCompte had 74% of the votes to Shane Thibodeau's 26%, uh, margin 450 to 158, and the unofficial turnout was... 13.4%. In the multi-parish party races, District 20E, Steve Trosclair with 69% of the vote to Danielle Walker with 31%. 602 people voted in that race, 13.6% voter turnout. District 20F, you had Randolph Bazette, Randy Bazette, as most people know him, the third Republican, 75% against Kristen Angeron, who had 25 percent, 611 people voted in that race, 14.1 percent turnout. In the multi-parish party race, District 21A, you had Matthew Galata, 72 percent, and Chet Howard with 28 percent, 530 casted their votes, and 11.6 percent voter turnout. In 21F, Hugh Caffrey with 79 percent to 21 percent, 518 votes cast, once again, 11.5% on the unofficial turnout. In Terrebonne Parish, the party races the at-large, the first five go, and there you see 
uh, the vote totals right there. You can see that Lenore Whitney had 18 percent and Michael Bajron had 17 percent. And then the two 14 percenters would be in that top five. And then Reggie Billiot would be the fifth in that race with 1574 votes total, 12,035 unofficial turnout, 9.4%. Terrebonne Parish Party Races, District 3. We had Gerald Michel defeating Connie Berg, 58% to 42% with 354 votes. District 5, we had Jeff Giles with 234 votes defeating Earl Carmichael with 213 votes. In District 6, we had Darren Guidry uh, winning handily, 575 votes over Kristen Angeron and Robbie Liner. In District 7, we had Rachel Dove Oob, the daughter of the former parish president, Gordon Dove. She had 275 votes to 217 for Dawn Olmeyer Jarvo. In District 9, we had uh, Steve Trosclair uh, in a 479 vote. Uh, race here with a 14.7% turnout. He had 51% of the vote against Peyton Gold and Chad Walker. In Lafouche Parish, the school board race, we had Henry Lafont with 62% over James Jimmy Cantrell II. Uh, he defeats him 656 to 401 with a 16.6% turnout. And in Grand Isle, the mayor, David Cormadell with 63% of the vote. Congratulations to the mayor on his re-election. Chief of Police just avoiding a runoff. Christopher Hernandez, he comes away with the victory. In the Grand Isle Council races, we'll have a runoff in April between James Sheremy and Scooter Ress Weber. And in the Grand Isle uh, Seat B race, we have uh, Harley Landry Stelly with 52% of the vote winning that one. And in the Grand Isle Council races, we have Lauren Gonzalez as a winner. And in its seat D, we have Brian Bartholomew with 63%. In seat E, town of Grand Isle, we have Michael Cheneau with 54% of the votes. He's elected in seat E, town of Grand Isle. We'll have more with these winners next week on Bayou Time. Today's social media segment is brought to you by Parabon General Health Systems, Rouse's, you're either local or you're not, Buick, the craft of modern luxury, St. Martin and Bork, know your rights, South Louisiana Bank, it's better when we bank together. Weights and Downer, attorneys at law. Terrebonne Ford, built Ford Tough. Alford and Associates, for all of your insurance needs. CIS, Cardiovascular Institute of the South, the highest quality cardiovascular care available. Barker Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality. <laughs> 